over here in the upper right starting location. We have the only Zerg in this group. He is. Wong Jin Star Soki. And his opponent in the bottom left here, the underdog. His ID is. Gene Air Green Wings, Pig Baby. That's kind of a cool uh, zoom in we have this season, Tasis. Yep. I like it. Yeah. I, I also it. like those green keys on his keyboard. Those are rather bright. They are very bright. Yeah. You will have no problem playing a platform game in the dark on that, mm. man. Yeah. <laughs> Middle of the night. No, no problem <laughs> No problem, dude. <laughs> you're never going to accidentally step off the cliff. Well, it's you're only newbie. four keys, but it can be hard to hit, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you miss. You're moving so fast. Oh, yeah. All right, so. What is the last game that you... Huh played on a keyboard that you use the uh, arrow keys on. Starcraft 1. You use the arrow keys? Like when you're I, playing? I did in one very certain circumstance. During really intense Vulture Micro, I used the arrow keys to make sure that I, my screen was exactly where I wanted it during wow. the Wow. Yeah. Because, like, you wouldn't... If you use your, you oh, know, normally you use your, your mouse, screen to drag. Yeah, okay, my my mouse, my screen drag was faster yeah. than yours was. I remember. Oh yeah, when you that's that's for I was, sure. But yeah. you know what? I I did that, and um, then I read the only programmer that did that it was Boxer. Yeah, yeah. But then when I think I think if you actually look at the video of him doing it, it doesn't look like it actually had as much utility. <laughs> well, he just used it to quickly center over where his vultures were to use them correctly, which is basically what I was doing. You're basically as good as Slayer's Boxer. Well, that's not true. But <laughs> 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 Thank you. That's what I was looking for, thanks. But right, uh, so we got Protoss uh, <laughs> gonna go ahead and wall in here at the entrance. Mm -hmm. Not going for a super quick expand. No, uh, just a gateway expand off two gases. Now, uh, uh, wait, he played against Leenok actually in the up and downs, and he, see, he's playing exactly the same so far as he played against Leenok, although that was Aklon Waste, a much different map. Sure. Doesn't scout all the way, scouts late anyways. This is just to check if Lings are coming, he scouts that far out. And then he makes his Nexus. And against Leenok, he went into a quick, like, five, six Phoenixes, harassed a bit, made the third Nexus, and added, like, 12 gateways. There is <laughs> <laughs> there is some meta stuff Zerg could do if the, if the Protoss only scouts halfway. Yeah. Send the Lings around. That's Expect that to be happening in the future of the metagame here. Seriously, if you know that someone scouts like that, you yeah. can totally trick them. Yeah. But, uh, no and trickery this time. Nope. No tomfoolery this time, no, Ritosis. No shenanigans occurring, Tasteless. <laughs> uh, and Sulky, of course, why would he? Are you going to blind counter games that Pig Baby played? No. No, there's no need. I mean, Sulky's probably going Ooh. into this game saying, well, if I don't make any grave errors and I scout correctly, I should just win. Looks like he's going to spot that. Yeah, he does spot the Twilight Council here. Yeah, that's an awfully quick Twilight. And having that spotted, like, do you still go for DT or Blink? Yeah, we've seen some players actually just let that finish and then go on with something else. <laughs> That's, but yeah, that could be the case. Yeah, that is a very again though a very early um, Twilight Council, so that's alarming. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to figure out what he wants to do with it. It might be one of these really quick like super quick blink without upgrade builds. Like uh, Nanowise has done some of those in the past to pretty good effect. Yeah, but uh, he's not going to do anything with it until he gets this out of there, and it's just it's exactly what you would expect, which is the Dark Shrine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think this now, one will work, Tasteless? I don't think so, Artosis. For some reason. Uh, let's see if he goes and tries to wall this in, and he does. Nicely done. Um, well, I mean, the Dark Templars are to be expected right now when yeah. you see them that early. I know. And then, I mean, I don't. There's not. And Sulky And here's the thing about bases. Dark Templar builds, guys, is that if you know if you know that they're coming, like if you were a StarCraft hacker, yeah, like you would just beat this. Yeah. Because you just see it's coming and stopping it yeah. in of itself is not hard and, and he's going to know for sure now that he sees that. As, so. as all Zergs are Starcraft hackers with those overlords. Yeah, pretty so. much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, seeing that Dark Shrine like, I don't, he, I think he'll make exactly one DT. I can't believe you can kill that overlord and, by the way. Oh wow, Pig it's Baby. It's like actually still here. Pig Baby. I wouldn't expect a Pig Baby to even to make that mistake and not kill that overlord a little bit yeah. quicker. Um, here's my guess, Tasteless. If Go I'm ahead. Pig Baby here, I'm going to hit a charge lot Archon Well, attack. I think that's all you can do. You can't try to slip in there with just DTs right, and yeah. be like, gosh, I hope you didn't make the Spore Crawler. I hope you don't have a, you know... I hope you have an no protection. I hope you, I completely catch you with your pants down. Mm -hmm. There's that one DT, and that DT is going to catch nobody and nothing with its pants down. Maybe like a Zergling on the map. 
Yeah. But I expect no kills. In fact, I, I bet he the just, SCT like... may end up going to the, where the fourth base would um, ideally be put and try yeah, to just maybe. catch drones on the way over there. If that was my DT, I think I would just poke and see the spore at the third and then go try to kill creep doomers. Like, yeah, you might as well, actually. I think that's about it. So, well, going up into that third base. See, uh, no, he might be able to get a drone or two. Turns Hit here. around. Nope. Yep. Turns around. And there's a creep tumor. Should Is he going to get it? And Look at that. And take that. Cost okay. efficient. <laughs> yep. Yep. Cost efficient. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, he's there. gonna be careful. Okay. Almost good. getting surrounded there. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's been useful, I guess, but. He's going into double Stargate after this, and oh my god, and a third third Nexus here. Now, I do like the third Nexus, <laughs> yeah. um, since there's a chance that Zerg will not be able to get out on the map and do some damage. Mm. You know, the, but I do feel like Zerg still is going to have a, a very basic lead right now. Yeah, and you know, since Layer Tech's already up, as Roach Speed finishes... Oh wow, did he just cancel Roach Speed? We, we actually today do not have a preview monitor. Yeah, yeah sorry. The, the, that will be broke. changed ideally by tomorrow, but right yeah. now... We, n we normally have a, a PC that we can go into the game yeah. and check our own tabs and stuff, but we don't have that here, so... Yeah, we should have it tomorrow, but sorry about that. But uh, you know what? He canceled Roach Speed, which I find kind of funny, because when your opponent opens DT, and then especially when they make the third Nexus like this, if you just go for, like, a couple Overseers and a, a bunch of Roaches, no matter what, you have at least 40 supply more than Protoss. Yeah. Like, it just, that is the way it is. Well, Protoss so. has invested way too much into um, something that doesn't yield a lot. Yeah, so normally what can happen is you hit a huge attack, but that's why he's gone double Stargate from here, and that's probably why Sulky's reading into it and saying, oh, okay, he's not dumb enough well, he, to he let me just kill right him like that, saw, right? He canceled right when he saw the two Stargates. Yeah, he said, okay, okay all right, perfect. this is not a good investment. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and back off. Uh, if he wants to play defense, I'm going to play the econ game. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. You know, it is, it's a smart move, as you said, Basis. Uh, we'll see if he can actually make the uh, the semi-sky toss build work here, as we do have a lot yeah, of hydras is, on the way. This is a map that's got a pretty big plane open area yeah. in the middle here, so I'm kind of wondering, how's he going to get around with these uh, Void Rays, mm -hmm. if he wants to push with his army, you know, a lot of times when you have Void Rays, uh, granted he does have Force Fields and everything, but usually you want to kind of be like in a valley or some narrow area where you're mm -hmm. going to get some good pairings with the Void Rays, not everything can attack at once. Exactly, Here, I yeah. mean, if he has a, a ton of mass Hydras, uh, he just like shoots down all yeah. the Void Rays, <laughs> and, and then, you I mean, that's that's game, basically. It's, it's definitely a map that Sky Toss is very hard to use on. Right. I got a one, but there, you know, there's a couple cute, cool and cute tricks that can occur. Like, for instance, uh, if the Overseer, if there's only like one or two Overseers, if they happen to be in the control group and go ahead, you can target them. We got a Nidus network coming Ooh, up here, Artosis. Look at that. Now, well, I mean, I... I suppose he can use this offensively. I thought he was going to play yeah. more of a passive game since, you know, the Protoss mm. can't really attack out with the Void Rays as easily. Yeah, when, when you go for Void Ray tech like this, you really got to wait till a high supply to move out, especially with how the game opens. So. Right. But it looks like he's just deciding to macro it up and just get out there. And I think that's probably to bring some queens with him. He's been making queens kind of nonstop. Let's see if this and queens uh, are good Phoenix. against Void Rays. And they Is have a Phoenix going to see that Nidus? Yeah. Yes, he will. And he sees how many queens as well, so he's going to be pretty scared of this. Now, this uh, Nidus is going to pop out very quickly, so he might not even have enough time mm. to respond, even though he now knows. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit rough. These units just making sure that the units don't get there quick enough. And here we go, Tasteless. There's going to be, uh, with all the queens popping out here as well. Yeah, this could be very deadly. Now, remember, mm. if the Protoss does hold this and push it back, uh, Pig Baby could be in great shape as long as he doesn't lose too much. Yeah. And, and again, a lot of transfuses here on these queens. Now pushing forward here. Ooh, almost loses a Void Ray already. Now this wall is going to be easy to take out. He's got to be careful. How many force fields do we actually have? It doesn't look like that many. Right, the Nexus Cannon is now going up. Now the army uh, is over here at the third base, and it's going to have a difficult time trying to get into position down here uh, to defend the second. Now moving out, a nice oh. side storm right there in the middle. A second one goes down as well. Some beautiful side storms indeed, but the trend Fusions are so good right now, keeping those queens alive way longer than they should be. And good night, Pig Baby. Sulky pushing forward and killing every Void Ray almost. Looks like Pig Baby. Well, looks like Sulky will be eating bacon tonight, Artosis. This, this is, uh, little G -G. piggy went to market.